I love to sit down with my cup of coffee, tea or even a drink when I get back from work and just relax. And let's be honest, there aren't many games in my playlist that I found relaxing, there's even a fun saying that they are almost fun games. I play a lot of competitive games and I like my difficulty level high, but when I want to unwind, I find my peace in cozy games like Stardew Valley. So. As the cold season slowly approaches, us, we need to find some comfort on chilly evenings, right? Well, as we wait for Haunted Chocolatier, which is first on my list, we've got some more cool games to look forward to. For those who don't know, Haunted Chocolatier is another game from our beloved Concerned Ape, the creator of Stardew Valley. The game is about, yes, you guessed it, a chocolatier. Your job is to acquire resources from different activities to create chocolate and grow your business. Aesthetically, the game is very similar to Stardew Valley, it looks the same and seems to play the same, so I guess it will be a lot of fun. I don't know how much time we will have to wait for its release. I've heard something about 2025, but I don't know if it's true. I wish Eric all the time, resources and motivation to bring us another masterpiece whenever it will be out. So this game is basically a mashup between Stardew Valley and Pokemon. It's a cozy farming sim where you will collect monsters, explore and meet friendly NPCs. In this beautiful pixel art game you take on the role of an aspiring alchemist and become a new resident in a floating town full of new faces to meet, befriend and even romance. Throughout the journey you will explore procedurally generated islands with diverse biomes and creatures to collect. You can use various types of transportation, such as balloons or gliders to travel between islands. You will collect resources along your way to help yourself with your alchemy, build furniture, customize your house and find, battle and tame over 100 spirits. Apart from that, there are also many other activities to enjoy, such as fishing, farming, exploring dungeons and much, much more. There is a lot of cozy time to be enjoyed in this game and I can't wait to play it. Have you ever wanted to run your own shop? Well, now you have the opportunity to do so. In this charming pixel art game, you get the chance to become a shop owner. Your task will, of course, be customer service, but you will also need to develop your shop well, customize its appearance according to the customer's needs, making everything easily accessible, decorated and optimal. Additionally, you will have to deal with a huge rush. Clean floors, stocked shelves, satisfied customers, everything needs to be perfectly arranged. Get to know local producers and residents, unlock new products, build relationships, but also watch out for dangers. Not everyone wishes you success. In this beautiful pixel art game, you play as a traveling chef tasked with reviving one's famous restaurant in the charming seaside town called White Ash Harbor. Begin a new life in this once thriving tourist destination and work towards becoming a master chef. You can, of course, hunt for food, harvest ingredients and shop for supplies. Along the way, befriend locals and help restore the town to its former glory. You can actually follow the progress of the game's development on the creator's YouTube channel. This is a great and quite interesting way to showcase how your game is evolving. So go ahead and check out how the game already looks. Harvest Island is yet another story-driven pixel art farming simulator game where your job is to tend to a farm and harvest your goods for the gods. You will have to interact with the gods and fulfill their request to earn blessings. But here is a thing, this is not your typical farming sim, it's actually a horror game. You can, of course, do all the typical stuff like milking cows, petting goats or whatever, but wandering too far from your home may become quite interesting as you will discover secrets about this remote island. This one I'm really excited for. Pixelshire is a game with gorgeous pixel art that combines elements of town building, farming sim and RPG. You can freely develop your town, I mean really, you can terraform the landscape and create your very own unique town. You will also have your own farm where you will acquire resources, learn new things and basically live. With each new citizen you encounter along the way, your town will grow and for each you must design a house to their liking. Apart from that, we have a very typical gameplay where you will farm, mine, manage your shop, raise livestock, and so on. 
Also, you will be able to explore a whole continent of Arcadia that is filled with exciting adventures, beautiful landscapes, dungeons and even more. Become part of Pixelshire's community, make friends with the locals, improve relationships by helping them and invite them to assist you on your journey. Who knows, maybe even find love. Fae Farm lets you escape to the enchanted world of Azoria, where you will nurture your home state, meet charming characters, foster deep relationships, and discover ways to infuse magic into everything you do. You can play with up to four people and explore the world together. You can fully customize your character and decorate your farm with lots of different styles and decorations. There is no rush, because the game unfolds at its own pace, so you can take your time and relax with your friends or alone. Apart from farming, you can also raise animals and explore the island to discover magical creatures. Explore, farm, decorate and have fun. This game allows you to spend your cozy time at your own pace, so it will be a great title for you to relax. Mirthwood is an enchanting medieval RPG life simulation set in an immersive fantasy sandbox world where you can choose who you want to be. You will have the opportunity to manage your own homestead, build a farm, plant and harvest crops, raise animals and craft items and gear. You can also explore this beautifully hand-drawn world, seriously, the art style is amazing, accompanied by immersive sound effects. Explore diverse landscapes and biomes, battle unforgiving weather conditions and diseases to survive. But be careful, it's not the only danger that awaits you. You will encounter a variety of enemies on your way, from bandits to werewolves. Equip yourself with your trusty weapon and chop your way to victory. Don't forget to take breaks from your adventures, meet and befriend townsfolk across Mirthwood and establish and grow relationships. This game looks amazing and I can't wait to play it, it brings some fresh vibes to the genre. In this adorable little game, you take on the role of Lily, a girl in search of her lost sister. During her search, she comes across a magical portal that transports her to Everholm, a charming and cozy island where everyone seems to recognize her. You will need to interact with the locals, learn how to grow crops, gather supplies, do some fishing, graze livestock and more. The island is also riddled with secrets. Venture into procedurally generated dungeons, combat monsters, collect powerful equipment and spells and, well, try to survive. This is a classic adventure where you will manage your farm, find monsters, meet new characters, build relationships, help with tasks and, most importantly, try to find your sister. Mistra is an enchanting village nestled between a forest and the sea, where you are offered an overgrown yet full of potential homestead in exchange for your assistance. This game, a spiritual successor to classic farm RPGs, lets you create your dream farm while uncovering magic, romance and adventure. Customize your character and farm, engage in farming, fishing, mining and crafting to rejuvenate the town, choose from 20 marriage candidates to start a family, raise animals and unlock helpful magic. Enjoy diverse seasons with quests, festivals and village stories and explore ancient ruins for battles and treasures. And that would be everything I prepared for you. I hope you found some great games to look forward to as they are yet to be released. Write me a comment about a game you are waiting for the most. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date. Thank you for watching and goodbye.